What's going on everybody? Joe Maxi here, Maxco Trailer Services. I uh, just wanted to do a quick video. I uh, have the truck and trailer here. I was taking some pictures so I can put them up on some of my listings. I figured I'd talk my way through some of my uh, purchases so far, kind of as a whole. Let you guys see what it is that I'm working on and, uh, you know, kind of pick and choose what you do or don't like based on what I've already purchased. All right, so um, this is my new truck. I uh, traded in my old Tacoma. She did really, really good for me for four years, but she didn't do the job for what I need her for anymore. So uh, it was time for a bigger truck. I skipped the 1500 class, went straight to the 2500 class. Um, it is very, very, very important if you're going to do the dump trailer rentals um, that not only can you get the bin there, but you get the bin home and don't break your truck uh, or your trailer trying to operate it along the way. So uh, this is a 2500 Tradesman. It is the 6.4 liter gas motor, not the 6.7 liter Cummins diesel. Um, if I had the extra 10 grand, I'd probably be driving the diesel right now, but uh, that is not in the cards at the moment. So um, the Tacoma I referenced earlier did a really good job, held really good resale value. I actually got to go keys for keys for this here truck. So I didn't have to come out of pocket. I, I actually spent, I think it was $700 of difference, but mostly that was dealer fees, not even price point of the truck. So um, getting the registration and all that. So this 6.4 liter uh, gasoline model does have a towing capacity on this truck as it sits. Oh, it is 4x4. I'll throw that out there as well. Has a towing capacity of 14, I believe it was 14.7. Okay, so really good tow capacity does put me um, right in line with what my bin is capable of. The payload on it was also very important. This one has a payload of, I believe, 3,200 pounds. So we'll go in here, take a look real quick. So payload, 3,285, okay. Now my gross vehicle weight rating is 10,000 pounds. Oh, sorry, couldn't see anything, 10,000 pounds. So, the, uh, you take the gross vehicle weight rating and the payload, subtract the payload from the weight rating, that will give you your curb weight of the truck, 10,000 minus 3,200, so we'll call it 6,800 pounds. As this truck sits, if you took the truck and the, uh, over the scale, 6,200 roughly pounds, okay? You have the big Tex 14 LP that I'm towing behind, um, has a total weight rating of 14,000 pounds, trailer and payload. Payload is 9820. So all in all, uh, if you combine that truck with that trailer, okay, you come in just under 21,000 pounds, fully loaded to its uh, requirements. 21,000 pounds is my, that's actually I think 21.5 or 21.7 is my gross vehicle combined weight rating. So that truck pulling that trailer fully loaded, I can do 21,000 uh, pounds. Well, I guess not a problem. I, don't, I haven't done it yet, so we'll find out. But um, it is within the manufacturer specs to do that with, okay? Now, some people roll the dice. I am not one of those people. I got this brand new bin that I just paid for, brand new truck that I just paid for. I wasn't going to attach them with something cheap. So I did, actually, bum, 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 bum. I did make a purchase, bulletproof hitches. They were actually pretty fantastic. Um, I ordered the eight inch drop originally, which was just barely too long. Um, it, it put me at, I think, nine inches from bottom of the hitch to the ground with the trailer, which I was a little concerned with. Um, but I drove over there. They ended up being actually local to me. They're in Bradenton, so about an hour and 20 minutes from where I live. Uh, and they swapped out the six for the eight. I bought a, another lock for it just to keep her nice and secure on there. I don't want anyone getting a little envious and taking her. She's not cheap. Um, went and got a couple, couple locks, threw her on there, and we are all good. Okay, so moving on from, we got truck is Ram 2500, 6.4 liter uh, gasoline 4x4, and then trailer is Big Tex 14LP, I believe it was 14BK-6, 
okay and then bulletproof hitches this one is the class 5 so it fits the 2.5 inch um, try to get a good angle all right two point uh, five inch receiver and then this is the two and five sixteenths rated up to 22,000 pounds. So in theory, my truck is all within spec manufacturer guidelines in truck uh, hitch and trailer itself. All three of them together give me what I need to do uh, legally to keep everybody safe and keep the hauls moving. Uh, no issues at all. Okay. Uh, this tradesman here is simple. So if we go on insider, okay, a couple things I love, a couple things, you know, it is what it is. My, my truck before this was a TRD Pro Tacoma, super nice feature full truck. This is the polar opposite. This is the actual work truck of the class. So, um, does have actually some surprisingly nice stuff in theory. Automatic headlights. It is a push button ignition. Um, so that's really nice. My shift dial is the turn. My um, 4x4 is the manual it's not the electronic um, I've never actually had a manual 4x4 that's new to me um, but we're we're learning it slowly day by day uh, what to do a little bit different seats are vinyl not leather so it is actually work grade all right this is if you know you're gonna have dirty butts getting in and out of here all day this is the stuff you want leather's gonna wear out really fast getting wet um, vinyl floors the whole nine yards now if we jump on in here, I have done a couple small things. So I have added a bulletproof, what is it? Or no, sorry, bullet point mounting solutions phone mount. So this, if I just, I don't know if I can do this one handed, but, oh, and I can't put you down for a moment. So, there we go. Uh, phone mount, okay? Now, from my eye level driving, this just barely uh, sits under the hood. It's right about, yeah, there is my eye level. So, uh, can't, can't be distracted. Don't want to miss any part of the road. The phone mount does sit just below it. And then you do also have the ability to turn it uh, sideways if you wanted to as well. The Oh yeah. Um, the backup camera. Okay, so you do have truck backup camera that will go through the screen. But I got that big old trailer behind me. What do I do? I've got this little guy right here, which is another screen, okay, that connects to this guy right here. So this is chargeable inside the truck. I can walk back to the back trailer and just slap it on there, use the uh, TV right here, and that will allow me to do backup camera for the trailer itself. Now I do have one more upgrade I got in yesterday. Um, everyone likes to take phone calls while they're operating. I did get the Garmin navigation as well. So this I can kind of throw wherever I want depending on the day. Uh, and then I also can just store it down here. So one, it's not baking in the sun, and two, so no one sees a million screens and wants to steal everything in the truck. Um, truck does have parking sensors in the rear, though I turned them off. A trailer towing option, just so it knows if you are or aren't towing. Um, so this thing's ready to go. Cruise control, the power brake controller. Um, single glove box with storage up top. Power windows, power locks, nothing crazy. Uh, and then this is a crew cab, so I have the full back seat. That's my uh, safety equipment with some camera equipment on it. And then safety first, and then teamwork. Keep my baby on deck on occasion. Where did they just go? Oh, there she is. She doesn't even know I'm looking at her. And my baby. Yep. So I am going to end the video there. I know uh, my pregnant wife is hot and will murder me if I don't make a change soon. So it was very nice uh, talking to everybody. Oh, I forgot my camera or my microphone. Oh, I'm a mess.
there we go microphone turned the right direction <laughs> it was uh, great talking to everybody I'm glad I got to throw this video together finally and uh, go through some of the things that I've purchased and why I've purchased them so um, yeah if anyone has any questions leave me a comment shoot me a uh, message something along those lines email uh, maxco trailer services at gmail.com or visit the website maxco total solutions uh, com and that's maxco m-a-x-c-o very nice talking to everybody have a good one